What's up everyone, welcome back or welcome to it. For this week's video, I'm just gonna jump into a quick little tutorial on how you can speed up your video editing in Final Cut Pro. I've been a Final Cut Pro user for about the last year and a half or so now, and changing from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro has been probably the best thing I've done in terms of editing and efficiency as well. The quality of my work and videos has just gone through the roof and a lot faster as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I speed up my editing. Tip number one is to use an SSD. This made my editing noticeably faster when I started using the SanDisk Extreme SSD. I picked this up for about $1.99 here in Australia. They're a bit of a steep price, but if there are multiple drives in your workflow, you can keep one of these drives purely just for editing, which is what I do. Out of everything on this list, this is probably the one I would recommend to most people. As normal hard drives can be quite cheap and slow down your editing. This is a one terabyte drive, which is more than enough. And you might be wondering what the difference is between solid state drives and normal hard drives with the disks. The main difference is that solid state drives are a lot faster. They're shock resistant. They are weather resistant in most cases. Pretty much just a more solid connection. These things use USB-C, which plugs directly into the MacBook. You don't have to use any adapters that slow down the file transfers and they just provide a more solid connection and I definitely recommend picking one of these up. Tip number two is to turn off background render. This would have probably been one of the first settings I turned off in Final Cut Pro. If you have a quick Google search of this, it'll tell you that background render renders your timeline in the background when you have dead zones in your editing, which means pretty much when you pause for a few seconds and you stop editing, it'll render your project automatically. You don't want this to be turned on because this will slow down your computer a lot, chew up a lot of the RAM, and it'll use a lot of storage in the long run. I've noticed in projects where I have this turned on, it'll run me back hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes per project, which will take up your hard drives in no time. You definitely don't want project files that big. And after turning this off, you can render manually and you can also delete your render files afterwards which I highly recommend doing, and your projects will probably be around 10 gigabytes. If you've noticed your editing work slow is a little bit slow and choppy on your computer that should be able to handle it, make sure you go into the settings and make sure this is turned off. This will also cut back on the storage of your projects. So I highly recommend turning it off. Last but not least, tip number three is to use proxies. When you're inputting your footage into Final Cut Pro, you have the option to use proxies. Proxies are pretty much just copies of your original media that are lower quality that are used for editing. These will be replaced into the timeline, will be lower quality, but you'll still be able to see everything just fine. It'll look fine while editing and it will speed up the process a lot. I've noticed this speeds up the process a lot on larger projects. I haven't really used it on smaller ones, but for large client projects, I mostly use proxies. This is another thing that has a noticeable difference when you're editing your videos. I highly recommend playing around with these. There's two different types. There's the H.264 proxies, which are lower quality, but they use less storage. And then there's ProRes proxies, which use slightly more storage, but are a lot higher quality and more efficient on Mac. These files will take up a little bit more storage in your project, but when you export, these are automatically replaced with the original files straight from your camera. So you get the highest quality when you're exporting. And another tip for you is to keep in mind that these files can also be deleted. You can go up to file and you can delete your render files that will clear all the proxies and all the render files that will reduce the project size a lot. But if you're editing longer videos, especially for clients, I highly recommend using proxies. And there's three tips that you can use to speed up your editing in Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe down below, turn on post notifications for new YouTube videos every single Friday at 7 p.m. Leave a like while you're down there to let me know you enjoyed the video. If you have any more video ideas, leave a comment down below. In the description box below will be my cinematic LUT pack. I've recently made my first product, which is a cinematic LUT pack. That'll be linked down in the description below. This YouTube video is edited entirely with those LUTs. So if you love how this video looks, make sure you go and check them out on my Gumroad store. Make sure you check out my Instagram down below as well. It'll be in the description at Jake Film and Photo. I have daily reels on there that are also made with these LUTs. So if you love how they look, make sure you definitely check them out. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.